The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. First chapter, text number one. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on July 8, 1973, in London, England. Dharashtra said, O Sanjaya, after assembling in the place of pilgrimage at Kurukshetra, what did my sons and the sons of Pandu do, being desirous to fight? So, the history is that same family, uh, there was this, this group who would occupy the throne. Uh, Dhritarashtra, and uh, actually he was the eldest son of the king. And next was Pandu. So every every country, uh, the law of private and which are what is called, the eldest uh, child. Uh, in in your country, uh, if the eldest child is a girl, she also occupies the throne. Just like present Queen Elizabeth, uh, formerly there was Queen Victoria, before that another Elizabeth. But uh, in India, the uh, uh, woman has no such right. Uh, the woman is never given any responsible post. Uh, uh, that is the opinion. Uh, of uh, the greatest politician in the history of the world, Chanakya Pandit. According to his opinion, Vishyasanaivakattamam Sri Sudhali Pulist. He has given his explicit opinion that you, you cannot trust with any responsible force uh, or any responsibility with uh, women and politicians. Those who are diplomat politicians, you cannot trust them. Uh, so the general regula regulation is that women should remain under the protection of husband, uh, father, husband, and children. Just like these Pandus, uh, their mother, Kunti, she was very, very qualified lady. Uh, but still, uh, after the death of her husband, she always remained uh, with the sons. The sons are going to the forest, the mother is also going. Also the wife is also by Draupadi. This was it. So two parties, Dhritarashtra was the eldest son, but he was blind, bodily defective. Therefore uh, he was not awarded the throne. His next brother, Pandu, he was offered the throne. But he died uh, very early age, a young man. When these Pandus, the five sons, Dhrishti, Maharaj, at that time not Maharaj, Dhrishti, Bhim, Arjun, Nukul, Sahaja, they were very small children. So they were taken care of by Dhritarashtra. Another elderly family, Bhishma he was the grandfather of the Pandavas. He was the elder uncle of Dhritarashtra. Bhishma was elder brother of Dhritarashtra's father. He was so old. But he was actually, uh, the kingdom belonged to Bhishma, but he remained a Brahmachari. He did not marry. There was no issue of Bhishma there. Therefore his nephews, Dhritarashtra uh, and Pandu, they were 
Uh, inherited. Now, after the death of Pandu, there was conspiracy. Vitharashtra uh, wanted that actually this is my kingdom. Now, somehow or other I could not get it. Now my brother is dead. Uh, so if I do not inherit, why not my sons? This was the politics. Uh, politics are always there. And envious, jealousy, this is the nature of this material world. You cannot avoid it. The spiritual world means just the opposite. Uh, there is no politics, there is no jealousy, there is no enviousness, there is spiritual. And material world means politics, jealousy, diplomacy, enviousness, uh, so many things. This is material. So, even in the heavenly planet, these things are there, politics. Even in animal kingdom, these politics are there. This is the nature. Masarata. Masarata means envious. Uh, one man is envious of another. It doesn't matter. In their brothers or family members, here yeah, the family members, Vitarashtra uh, and Pandu, two brothers, their sons, their family members, for the enviousness. Uh, so the Krishna consciousness movement is not for the persons who are envious. Uh, envious. It is a movement to train people how to become not envious. It is very haska scientific movement. Yes. Not to become envious. Uh, the Bhagavatam in the beginning introduces uh, dharma prodhita koitava atra. Uh, in this Srimad Bhagavatam, dharma, religious principle, uh, cheating type of religious principle is completely eradicated, thrown out, prodhita, uh, uh, kicked out, prodhita. It's like you collect all the uh, dirty things from the room, sleeping, and then kick out. Uh, don't keep it within the room. Uh, similarly, cheating type of religious system kicked out. Uh, it is not such religion, this religion, that religion. Any religion system. Yeah. If there is jealousy, uh, that is not religion. Uh, jealousy means we should understand jealousy. What is jealousy? Uh, jealousy means that you are rightful owner of something. I won't allow you to take it. This is jealousy. Uh, this is jealousy. Jealousy, try to understand. Uh, Suppose you are rightful owner of something, and I am trying that you don't own it. I shall own it. Uh, or somebody own it. I shall not allow it. This is Jesus. So, the, what is the rightful uh, ownership of the living entity? That is to be understood. Birthright, what is called birthright, uh, just like everyone has got right to live uh, under the protection of the government. Everyone. That is good God. Government should give security of life and property. That is God. Not only for the human being, but for him, for the ant. This is God. Uh, not that I give protection to my brother and not to others. That is not. Just like Purikit Maharaj. He was giving protection 
Then the animals saw. Uh, when, was, when he was on his two, as soon as he saw that a black man was trying to kill one cow, oh, immediately he took his sword. Who are you? They are trying to kill. Uh, so this is good government. Unless the government is equal to everyone, just like God is equal to everyone. The king or the government must be representative of God. Therefore, according to uh, Vedic civilization, king is offered uh, as good respect as to the Supreme Personality of God. King is called Naradeva. Uh, Naradeva. That means God in human form. King is him. Why? Because he acts as the representative of God. He cannot be jealous to any living entity, at least born in his kingdom. That is called praja. Praja means one who has taken birth, or in other words, nasana. Nasana. So that is the deed. So, formerly, uh, when there was fight between two kings, it is on the uh, principle that who is giving good protection to the citizens, not for personal profit. Who is able to give good protection, life, uh, security for life and property, he should be gone. So, these persons, these Dhritarashtra and his sons, they are jealous how they could give protection to the citizens. They are themselves jealous. Just like nowadays, all these politicians, they are jealous. They cannot give any protection to the citizens. They are simply interested with their party politics. They have no time even to think how to give a nice protection to the citizen so that they may feel happy all that we have got a good government, there is no cause of anxiety. We have got sufficient food, sufficient protection, uh, uh, sufficient uh, uplands, everything sufficient. And that is good law. So here uh, Dhritarashtra he is jealous. He cannot give any good government. Krishna knew it. Krishna sent a messenger, O Krura. We have read in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Before this battle of Purushetra from Dwarka, he sent his uncle, O Krura, just go to Hastinapur, New Delhi, and see what is the situation. So Krura understood that Dhritarashtra was planning something. So he talked with him that why you are uh, implicated in such planning. Uh, Krishna does not want it. Although Dhritarashtra knew that Krishna was the Supreme Personality of God. Uh, so Dhritarashtra said that I know that what I am planning, that is not good. I know Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God, and He has requested me. But I tell you frankly, I cannot do without you. So, and Krishna will be pleased upon me, I may be. So, this is the position of the materialistic person. A materialistic person knows that he is sinful. The materialistic person knows that whatever he is doing is wrong, but he cannot check. Just like uh, a thief. A thief knows that if he commits uh, stealing, he will be arrested, he will be punished. He knows, because he heard from law books, 
from other sources. And he has also seen that a thief is arrested and is taken by the police for being punished. So we have got two kinds of experiences, by hearing and by seeing, direct. In, a, in Bengali it is called dakha suna. In India it is called. The two kinds of experience. One by seeing, practically experiencing, hand to hand. Another by hearing. The one who is intelligent, he gets his experience simply by hearing from the right soul. That is nice. So our process is that we are getting experience about uh, the perfect knowledge, the destination of life, simply by hearing from Krishna. Uh, so we are the most intelligent person. It is not possible to experience directly, uh, but if one has got intelligence, then simply by hearing and considering and thinking about it, he gets it. So those who are very sinful, they get experience by hearing and by direct seeing, directly seeing also, still they cannot check from sinful activities. So dhritarāṣṭra, dhritarāṣṭra, by sinful activities he became so much fallen that he did not hear anybody's advice, Vidur's advice, Bhishma's advice, uh, that don't plan like this. They are rightful owners. The Pandavas, they are rightful owners. Uh, they are minor, but don't try to cheat them. But Vidurasta was. So when the planning was complete and the war field was set up, uh, at Dharmakshetri Kurukshetra. Uh, Dharmakshetra means Kurukshetra, that place is uh, a pilgrimage. People still go to observe a religious, uh, ritualistic performances. And in the, in the Vedas, there is injunction. Kurukshetri is Dharmamachari. Uh, if you want to perform some ritualistic ceremony, religious, then go to Kurukshetra. Uh, so Kurukshetra is a dharma khetra. It is not a fictitious thing, just like Laskal uh, commentators, so-called. They say Kurukshetra means this body. It is not that. As it is. Try to understand Bhagavad Gita as it is. Kurukshetra, dharma khetra. It is a place of religion. And especially when Krishna was present there, it is already. Uh, why this house? Before our occupation, why this house was an ordinary house? Now it is temple. It is Dharma Khetra. It is a religious place. Why? Because Krishna is there. Krishna is there. So, Either you take Kurukshetra, ordinary place, but because in the battlefield Krishna was there directing Arjo, so it is already Dharmakshetra. So formerly people were religiously trained up, so they could not speak lies in a Dharmakshetra. That is still the practice, just like in the Western world, the Christians go to the church, they admit. Confession. Yes, I am that. Uh, that. But that has become a formality. But actually, uh, one should admit uh, in uh, religious place that yes, I have done. But that does not mean you admit and again do it. No. You admit once, then you are excused. But don't do it again. Uh. So here, uh, Dhritarashtra says, the samavita dhritasthava, all these people, my sons, mamaka, uh, <coughs> mamaka, that means my sons, and Pandava, 
and my blood I pound it. Some of it, they assemble. What is the purpose? The purpose is jujutsava. Oh, this word jujutsu is still used in Japan. Perhaps you know jujutsu. Oh, fight. Oh, this. So jujutsu, those who are desires of fighting. Now, both the parties were desiring to fight and they assembled. Why he is asking question, Kima Kurvata, what did they do? Because he was uh, a little doubtful that these boys, after being assembled in Dharma Shetra, they might have changed their ideas. They might have settled up. No, actually, uh, the sons of Dhritarashtra might have admitted, yes, Pandavas, you are actually the owner. What is use of unnecessary fighting? So he was very much anxious whether they have changed their disease. Therefore he is asking. Otherwise there is no question of asking. Kima Purva. He. That's like if you are giving food, if I ask somebody that such and such gentleman uh, was served with nice dishes, then what did he do? Uh, this is foolish question. He, he, he did eat. That's all. What is the question of? What did he do? Similarly, when it is already settled up that they were to fight, there is no such question as Kima Purvata, what they do, did they do. But he asked this question because he was doubtful whether they had changed their opinion. Kima Purvata Sangha, he was asking his secretary, he was blind man, uh, he was always conducted by Secretary Sanjaya, a very faithful Secretary, and he is explaining the Bhagavad Gita uh, by experiencing, uh, by television within the heart. Uh, that art is not yet uh, developed. We have got television through machine, but there is another television. Uh, you can see within your heart what is going on outside. So that television was known to, that will be explained by Sanjaya, uh, that by the grace of Vyasadeva, uh, uh, he learned this television. And he was sitting with his master within the room, and he was actually seeing how the fighting is going on, and he was explaining. This is the basic principle of Bhagavad Gita, uh, I mean, basic platform. Uh, so let us discuss gradually one of Thank you very much. Thank you.